For 56 years, the American people were told a specific story about the assassination of Malcolm X in February 1965 inside the former Audubon Ballroom. On Thursday, two of the men convicted in that crime, 83-year-old Muhammad Aziz and the late Khalil Islam, were formally exonerated in open court. The joint motion is hereby granted. I do not need this court. These prosecutors or a piece of paper tell me I'm innocent. Both Aziz and Islam, who died in 2009, served more than two decades in prison. I'm an 83 year old man who was victimized by the criminal justice system. They maintained their innocence from the very beginning, and at the time, the judge in their trial ignored a third convicted man who actually admitted his role when he testified Aziz and Islam had nothing to do with the assassination plot. The FBI was deathly afraid of someone like Malcolm X. But their innocence was an open secret in some circles. They knew that he was going to be gunned down, and they did nothing about it. Rumors and whispers that journalist Abdur Rahman Muhammad, along with his team, tracked down and confirmed. Their finished product, the six-part Netflix documentary, Who Killed Malcolm X, which implicated the NYPD and the FBI. I apologize on behalf of our nation's law enforcement for this decades-long injustice, which has eroded public faith in institutions that are designed to guarantee equal protection of the law. Outgoing Manhattan DA Cy Vance apologized in open court Thursday to both Aziz and Islam's family as he filed a motion to clear both convictions. Significantly, we now have reports revealing that on orders from Director J. Edgar Hoover himself, the FBI ordered multiple witnesses not to tell police or prosecutors that they were, in fact, FBI informants. Many of those documents were exculpatory. None of them were disclosed to the defense. Without these files, it is clear these men did not receive a fair trial.